Hey, what's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, reviews, and how-tos. I have a merch review and a unboxing for you today. This one is also part two in a series of three different videos that I am posting this month, all about E2046 Sailor Moon figures that I have gotten in the mail. Now I pre-ordered each of these figures. E2046 makes some really beautiful and high quality figures. A lot of times they are figures of characters that we have never seen turned into merch merchandise, so I really like to collect the products that they come out with. For example, that Human Luna over there in the glass case, that is from E2046, as well as this Sailor Moon up here. The other nice thing is they do garage kits if you're really good at painting, which I'm not. They also do pre-painted, so I always get the pre-painted ones because honestly their painting styles look real good. So today I am reviewing and unboxing a very large figure. This one is she's kind of heavy too it's super sailor mars i'm so excited so i'm gonna get her out of the box i will review her for you and show you a bunch of up close video and images of the character and i'll build her on camera so you can see how easy it is to put her together now the nice thing about e2046 is they always include a little step-by-step -step guide so you can easily see how to put together your character this one looks a little bit more advanced than my Galaxia figure that I also unboxed recently, but still it doesn't look too hard. And each of the different pieces is numbered in the box, so it should be really hard to find all the pieces that they're talking about, which can be very useful if you're putting together something that's really, really detailed. So she comes with a pretty simple stand. Then we have a bunch of pieces here. Ooh, that's pretty. I can already tell I'm gonna like it. Ooh, that's really pretty. Cool. Look at this flame. So this flame is going to go around Sailor Mars since this is an attack stance. That looks really cool. I'll have to figure out where it goes. Now I do always recommend keeping the foam box and the padding just in case you ever have to transport your resin statues because this does seem to keep them really secure and really safe. For example, even though these figures are traveling from overseas whenever you purchase them, they seem to last and they seem to not break in the transportation. So I think that E2046 does a really good job of making sure that these products are safe when they are getting transported to you. Now, I don't remember how much I paid for these figures that I'm unboxing this month, so I will leave that information down below. And I will also put links down below. And if E2046 wants to supply me with a coupon code, I will put that link down below as well. Ooh, that's gonna be a fragile piece. I'm gonna break that. There's Mars's arrow. I found the leg, people. You know what this reminds me of? That Christmas movie with the leg lamp? <laughs> Plus it's the Christmas season. Leave me alone, don't judge me. Okay, and here we have, oh, that's the rest of her body. You gotta be pretty careful with these figures cause they are made out of resin and they are fragile. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, we got the rest of her body. Yay, I found her face. Okay, I think that was all of the pieces. So now I can get to putting her together. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That's the best way to show your support and comment down below if there's any other videos that you would like to see. I am going to put her together. Wish me luck. I hope I don't break anything. <laughs> I say that because I definitely broke a piece on my Super Sailor Moon character up there. That's how I learned that resin is a little bit fragile. Just put it that way. So this is a pretty heavy stand. I think she will be just fine when she's on the stand. Now inside of each of these pieces are magnets and that really helps to keep these pieces from falling apart and you don't have to glue them. And they're strong magnets. They don't appear to, oh man. Yeah, they're really strong magnets. So I think they will be just fine. Oh, I see, there's a pin. So it looks like, looks like that pin goes in there. Ooh. I don't like pressing hard on resin pieces because I don't want them to break off. I'm a little worried about that happening. Then we have, let's see, there's a piece of hair, this piece of hair. So it looks like there's two pieces of hair that go together. That one goes there. Is that magnetic too? Oh, it is. Oh man, that's so freaking cool. So we got another magnetic piece of hair here. So it just snaps into place. Man, that's great. That is just great. And then her head just fits into place on her body. This is what we have so far. Wait, where does this go? 
I should do this first. I'm gonna put her bow on. This is in the back. That slides into place. Now they do say if you have trouble with getting any of the pieces to stick together, that you can use like a blow dryer or something to heat them up a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we're good on the bow. I need to move this plastic piece around because that plastic piece, the large side is supposed to go upwards, like over her shoulder, but the way that they placed it on here, it's like over her armpit. So I'm gonna have to adjust that. Okay, so I just had to pop off this plastic piece like so, and then adjust it so that it fits correctly over her shoulder as opposed to over her armpit. Is that magnetic too? Awesome, there is a magnet. That's so nice. I love that there's magnets everywhere. Makes things so much easier. The arrow goes in her hand basically like that. Her other hand goes here. That shoulder pad is correct. I think I will need to adjust the arrow a little bit because it is bouncing a little bit forward. So I'll probably just have to heat it up and move it down into place a little bit. Okay, I kind of have it sitting underneath her finger. So now I can put on her head. So this is a nice little detail. I like how her hair just kind of sits right on top of her arm right here. And then we have the two pieces of fire. Now I'm gonna check the website to see exactly where these are supposed to go. I feel like I'm gonna break these things. These little flames, it would be a lot more helpful if I knew exactly where, like which pin they're supposed to go in, but it, it doesn't really tell you on the instruction guide. So I'm just kind of messing around with it until I can figure it out. Okay, I think I figured it out based on a video that I found on the E2046 website. So I had to get these little stakes out with like a little prying tool out of my husband's toolbox, but I'm pretty sure I have it figured out now. So I think this is how it's supposed to go. And yeah, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all the pieces in now that I figured it out. Okay, that looks better. That looks much better. All right, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with Sailor Mars. So she was definitely a little bit more complicated than Galaxia, but all in all, still not too hard. So here is the final statue, as you can see. I think she looks really pretty. I love how the flames on her arrow, her flame sniper arrow, are totally translucent, so you can kind of see through them. Same thing with her arrow, you can totally tell that it's made out of fire, which is absolutely gorgeous. I also really like the shading done in her hair as well as her uniform. Like check out how they airbrush the skirt. It looks really, really beautiful. I'm glad that all the pieces are magnetically put together because that definitely helps with the build process. Here's her hair from the back. You can definitely see a whole bunch of the shading going on and you do have some of that purple effect in her hair. So I love her face. I really like how they did her eyes on her face. I think she looks really beautiful. I love her facial features and I also love her expression. She just looks very, very courageous and she looks really strong. This is a beautiful figure. I would definitely recommend it to any Sailor Mars fans, especially if you're a fan of Super Sailor Mars. So let me know what you think. I am very happy with her and I'm glad that I was able to put her together without breaking any pieces. <laughs> That's always like really scary now. Ever since I built that one, I'm just like, ah, I don't wanna mess anything up. I'm scared, but she was able to put together super easy and the magnets that E2046 has in the different pieces definitely helps nowadays. So I don't feel like I have to like really, really shove the pieces to get them in there. They fit together really well and the finished product just looks really beautiful. So I think this was well worth the money and I'm really happy that I own her. Now if only I can get my hands on Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Mercury. I'm also really excited because E2046 has teased some models and some of the moldings that they are planning to do for the outer Sailor Senshi as well. So I'm hoping to have a complete collection of all of the Sailor Senshi in their attack forms. So let me know what you think of this Sailor Mars figure. You can leave a comment down below. I read all of the comments and I really appreciate all of the conversations that we get into. I think it's always super fun and I get to know you a little bit better as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs, Janet.